today we are going to work on combining like terms in order to simplify an expression. We'll start out looking at this using fruit. So right now you could say that I have two apples if I wanted to know the total number of fruit that I had plus one banana plus one apple plus two bananas plus one apple. But you can see that I had to write a whole bunch out. I had to write apples, I had to write bananas, and in math we like to shorten it up. So instead of writing all of that, I could have written that I have two A so the A is going to be a variable that represents those apples plus a banana. And I just wrote it as a B because I only have one banana plus an A because that represents the apple plus two B for the two bananas plus one more apple. And then I want to shorten that up as much as I can because I want to know how many total apples and how many total, total bananas I'm going to have. So I can see that right here, those are that's an apple, here's another apple, and here's another apple. So if we combine those all together, I'm going to have four apples. And then if I am looking at the number of bananas I have, whoops. I would have one here and one here. And so that would give me three bananas. So once I combine it all together, I can put my apples together, I can put my bananas together, and I would say that I have four apples plus three bananas. So in math, when we combine like terms, the important thing to, re thing to remember is that only terms that are, al that are alike can be added or subtracted. So to see which terms are alike, the terms must have the same exact letter combination and the same exact exponents. And that's what we're going to be looking at in the next few problems. So here's our first example. Um, you can see this one, I do have it color coded, and the, the, the numbers that have the C behind them, so the 19C and the negative 9C, those are like terms because they both have a C. The other numbers that are in green, those are whole numbers. Those don't have a C, so, that, so those can be combined together. So when you are combining like terms, you have to make sure to add the coefficients of the like terms. This is something that you might want to put into your notes. So I am like to, when I do it, this is color coded already, but what I like to do is say, okay, this one has a C and this one has a C. And you need to make sure to look at the symbol in front of the term. And I don't know where my little boxes went that I already wrote down, but I'll write them again. So I have my 19C, and see how I have to remember that that's a negative 9C? Um, so I know that when I do that, 19C minus 9C, I am going to get, and maybe I'll do the whole thing together because here I can combine these two whole numbers and I'll just write them next to each other because then, especially when they get a little bit longer, it'll make it easier to do. I can see that I would have 10C left over and then when I take the whole numbers, negative 11 plus 13, I would have two. And see how I went from this, which is kind of somewhat long, down to this, which looks a way whole lot simpler to me. Okay, here's another one. 
Um, so I'm going to look and see which ones are the like terms. They have to have the same exact variable. So when I look at it, I can see that I have an n there, and I also have an n there. And then here I have a 7m, and then over here I have another m, a negative 9m. And then here's my two whole numbers. Got a little long there. So now I'm going to go ahead and combine those together now that I have them next to each other. So I'm going to take my n's and negative 2n plus n. Now it's important to remember that when I am doing this, if this n here doesn't have a number in front of it, it means that it has a coefficient of 1. Mathematicians are kind of lazy, and if they um, can shorten something up, they're going to do it. So if there's just an n there, it's like having a 1 in front of it, because you have 1n. So I'm going to do negative 2n plus 1n. That would give me a negative 1n, and that can be written like this, negative 1n, or I could have written it as negative n. My m's are the 7m minus 9m, so that would give me a negative 2m. And then here's my whole numbers, negative 2 minus 5, and that would be a negative 7. So if I would write this out, I would want to see it as negative n, negative n minus 2m minus 7. Something else that you might want to put in your notes is that when there is not a coefficient in front of the variable, it is equal to 1. And remember, I talked about that right here. Because I was saying that there's no coefficient in front of the n, so I put the 1 there. Now this one's just a little bit different because remember at the beginning we talked about how it needs to have the same exact variables. Now there's a lot of G's and there's a lot of H's in here and so we need to look and see where they're exactly the same. So I like to start at the beginning and I have the negative 4GH. When I go to the next one, like here, See how this has a G, but it doesn't have the H as well. So that means that I cannot combine it because it's not the exact same. So going back here, I have a negative 4GH. And then over here, I have another one that has both the G and the H. And so now I'm going to put those and combine them together. So negative 4GH plus 9GH will be 5GH. And then, let's go on to the next one. I have a negative 9g. And over here I have another g. It's a positive 3g. And so when I put those together, I'm going to have negative 6g. And then I finally will have the, neg or the positive 9h and a negative 3h. So that ends up giving me 6h. So see how I went from something super short, and I really don't know where my answer just went there, but I went from something really short, or excuse me, something really long, to something rather short. Something you might want to put in your notes, just to remind yourself, is the variables must have the same exact letter combination, which is what we did in this one. Now the different thing about this one you'll see is that this one has some exponents. Now we talked at the beginning that it needs to have the same exact variable combination and the same exact exponents. So the exponents need, need to be the same in order to combine them. So there's a lot of x's in here, 
but there's different um, different exponents that go with them. So when I combine them, let's say I'm going to start at the beginning. That's where I like to start. I have a 2x squared. So I can only combine that with other ones that have an x squared. So if I was looking at, let's say, this one, that only has an x, which is to the power of 1. This one has an x to a power of 3, so that's not the same. This one has an x, and then this one and this one have x squared, or x to the second power, which is what I'm looking for. So I can take it and combine that 2x squared with a negative 3x squared and a negative 5x squared. So if I do, I'm going to write that down just because I'm combining three different ones. I don't want to get confused. So if I have 2x squared minus 3x squared, it'd be a negative 1x squared and a negative 5x squared still. So that just helps me see that it's going to be negative 6x squared. And I'll get rid of this so that's out of the way. That was just sometimes I need to do a little work as well. All right, then I go back to the equation. And okay, I'm just going to the next one here. I have a negative 8x. And looking down, I do have another one here that has just a plain all x, so I combine those. Negative 8x plus 6x is going to be a negative 2x. Now when I look back at the equation, I see that, hey, I only have one thing left right there. So it's kind of lonely. It doesn't have anything else that it's going to be combined with, but that's fine. It can just be all by itself but I have to make sure that I do write it down in my expression. So I went from this really long thing up here and see how it's way more simple down here and it's going to be easier to work with. Now here's one that I want you to first try on your own. So pause it and then give it a try. And once you're ready, turn me back on and I'll go through how to do it and hopefully you get this right answer. So go ahead and give it a try. All right, to do this one, I always just start at the beginning and I see a 4a. So I look down and I see are there any other ones that just have an a in them? And I see here, I have a negative 5a. All the other ones have um, the ab combination or a b squared, so those are different and cannot be combined. So 4a minus 5a is a negative 1a, and I'm going to write it as a negative a because that's equivalent to negative 1a. Then I have a 7ab and then just an AB. Now remember, the coefficient there is a one. So when I combine those, I'm gonna get eight AB. And then this one, kind of lonely, but that can't be combined with anything else because it has a B squared, and I don't see any more of those. So I just need to make sure to write it down here. So hopefully you got that, and you understand it.